Practice makes perfect. Hi Emma, do you enjoy celebrating festivals? Absolutely, Smith. I love the festive vibes. How about you? I do too. Which festival is your favorite? Christmas is at the top of my list. I love the decorations and the joy it brings. What about you? Diwali is my favorite. The lights and sweets make it special. What's your favorite part of Christmas? I adore decorating the Christmas tree. How about you? Any favorite Diwali tradition? Please like and subscribe our channel. It will help us to grow. Lighting diyas and fireworks during Diwali is a must for me. Do you have a specific holiday tradition you follow every year? Yes, my family and I bake cookies together every Christmas. It's a cherished tradition. Do you have any special holiday recipes? I make a mean pumpkin pie for Thanksgiving. Do you celebrate Thanksgiving? Not really, but I'd love to learn more about it. How do you usually spend Thanksgiving? We gather as a family, share a feast, and express gratitude. Do you have a favorite festive dish? I love traditional roast turkey during Thanksgiving. What about festive music? Do you have a favorite holiday song? Jingle Bells is a classic for me. How about you? Any favorite holiday tunes? All I want for Christmas is you by Mariah Carey is my absolute favorite. Do you have a preferred holiday destination? New York during New Year's Eve is amazing. Have you ever been to a famous festival in another country? Not yet, but I'd love to experience the Rio Carnival in Brazil. How about you? Any international festivals on your bucket list? I'd love to attend Oktoberfest in Germany someday. Do you think celebrations differ across cultures? Definitely. Different cultures have unique ways of celebrating. How do you think celebrations have evolved over the years? Technology has made celebrations more connected. We can video call family during festivals. Do you have any funny holiday memories? One year, my dog stole all the Christmas ornaments. It was a mess. Do you have any quirky holiday traditions? We have a tradition of wearing matching pajamas on Christmas morning. It's amusing and cute. How do you handle the post-holiday blues? I usually plan a small getaway to keep the festive spirit alive. What's your go-to activity after the holidays? I start planning for the next holiday. Do you enjoy attending local festivals? Yes, I love the community spirit during local events. Any favorite local festival in your area? The Lantern Festival is breathtaking. Do you have a preferred time for holiday shopping? I'm a last-minute shopper, usually a week before the festivities. How about you? Do you plan your shopping in advance? I try to start early to avoid the holiday rush. Any unique New Year's resolutions? I want to learn a new dance style in the coming year. Do you have a favorite holiday movie? Home Alone is a classic. Do you think celebrations are more about traditions or creating new experiences? A bit of both. Traditions provide a sense of continuity, while new experiences keep things exciting. How do you balance work and celebrations? I try to plan my work schedule in advance and prioritize family time during celebrations. Do you have a favorite cultural festival? I'm fascinated by Holi in India. The vibrant colors and festive atmosphere seem incredible. Have you ever participated in a costume party? Yes, Halloween costume parties are always a blast. Do you have a favorite costume you've worn? I once dressed up as a pirate. It was so much fun. Do you think commercialization has affected the true meaning of festivals? It has to some extent, but I believe people still hold on to the essence of celebration. 
How do you stay eco-friendly during festivals? We use reusable decorations and try to minimize waste. Any advice for someone planning their first big holiday party? Plan in advance, delegate tasks, and don't forget to enjoy the party yourself. Do you have a preferred holiday drink? Hot chocolate with marshmallows is my go-to during winter celebrations. How do you feel about New Year's resolutions? I think they're a great way to set goals and start fresh. Any festival you'd like to experience that you haven't yet? I'd love to witness the Chinese New Year celebrations. The dragon dances seem amazing. What's the most unusual holiday tradition you've come across? In Spain, they celebrate La Tomatina, a massive tomato fight. It's messy but looks like a lot of fun. Do you prefer a snowy or warm holiday season? I love a snowy Christmas. The atmosphere feels cozier. How about you? Snow or sun? Snow, definitely. It adds a magical touch to the holidays. How do you handle cultural differences during holiday celebrations? I appreciate and respect the diversity. Learning about different customs makes celebrations more enriching. Do you have a favorite type of holiday decoration? I love fairy lights. They create a warm and festive ambience. How do you involve your kids in holiday preparations? We decorate cookies together and have a family tree trimming night. Do you have a preferred type of gift wrapping? I like using recyclable wrapping paper with a personal touch, like handmade gift tags. Any memorable gifts you've received? A personalized scrapbook from my best friend. It was filled with cherished memories. How do you feel about attending crowded holiday events? I enjoy the energy, but sometimes it can be overwhelming. Do you have a favorite holiday tradition from your childhood? Making paper snowflakes with my siblings. It was simple but filled with joy. How do you choose gifts for your loved ones? I try to pick thoughtful gifts based on their interests. Do you have a favorite holiday scent? Cinnamon and pine always remind me of the holidays. How do you handle the stress that comes with holiday preparations? I prioritize tasks, take breaks, and remind myself to enjoy the process. Do you think technology has changed the way we celebrate? Absolutely. Video calls and social media help us connect with loved ones, especially if they're far away. Any cultural celebration you find particularly fascinating? I'm intrigued by the Day of the Dead celebrations in Mexico. The colorful altars and parades are captivating. How do you stay healthy during the holiday season? I try to maintain a balance between indulging in festive treats and staying active. Do you have a favorite holiday game? Charades is always a hit during family gatherings. How do you handle disagreements about how to celebrate with family or friends? Communication is key. We try to find a compromise that ensures everyone feels included. Do you have a preferred way to give back during the holidays? Volunteering at a local charity or organizing a food drive. It feels good to make a positive impact. How do you keep the spirit of a festival alive throughout the year? I try to carry the values of gratitude and joy into my daily life. Do you have a favorite holiday tradition with friends? Friends and I have a potluck-style Friendsgiving dinner every year. It's a wonderful way to celebrate together. How do you choose which festivals to celebrate? I usually celebrate the festivals that hold personal or cultural significance to me. Do you have a favorite type of holiday cookie? Gingerbread cookies are a classic favorite. Do you prefer a low-key celebration or a big party? I enjoy a mix of both. A cozy celebration with close friends and family, but also a lively party. What's your take on re-gifting? If done thoughtfully, it can be a sustainable and practical way to share joy. Have you ever celebrated a festival in a unique location? I once celebrated Christmas on a tropical island. 
It was a different but memorable experience. How do you involve your pets in holiday celebrations? Our dog gets a special holiday meal, and we include her in family photos. Do you have a preferred time for opening presents? Christmas morning is magical. How do you feel about themed parties during the holidays? I think they add a fun element. Ugly sweater parties are always a hit. Do you have a favorite holiday tradition from a different culture? The Japanese cherry blossom festivals seem beautiful. Have you ever celebrated a festival while traveling? I joined a local Diwali celebration while traveling in India. It was an incredible experience. Do you have a favorite holiday memory? My first snowfall during Christmas is etched in my memory. It felt like a winter wonderland. How do you handle the pressure of gift giving? I try to focus on thoughtful gestures rather than extravagant gifts. Do you have a preferred way to share holiday greetings? I love sending personalized cards with heartfelt messages. Do you have a favorite festive drink recipe? Spiked eggnog is a holiday classic. How do you maintain traditions when family members are scattered geographically? We schedule video calls to share moments and keep traditions alive virtually. How do you feel about the commercialization of holidays? While it's prevalent, I think it's essential to hold on to the deeper meanings of celebrations. What's your opinion on setting off fireworks during celebrations? While they can be beautiful, I'm mindful of their environmental impact. Do you have a favorite holiday themed book? A Christmas Carol by Charles Dickens is a timeless favorite. How do you involve your community in holiday celebrations? Our neighborhood organizes a festive lighting competition. It brings everyone together. Do you have a preferred way to relax after the hustle of holiday preparations? A quiet evening with a cup of tea and a good book does the trick for me. How do you teach kids about the cultural significance of festivals? We engage in storytelling and involve them in age-appropriate cultural activities. Do you have a favorite holiday craft? Making homemade ornaments is a favorite family activity. How do you handle holiday stress at work? I try to set realistic goals, communicate effectively, and take breaks when needed. What's your favorite part of a Thanksgiving meal? Stuffing. It's a must on my plate. Do you have a preferred way to count down to the new year? Watching the fireworks at midnight is a tradition. Do you think the meaning of certain festivals has changed over time? In some cases, yes. Commercial influences can shift the focus from cultural or religious aspects. Do you enjoy hosting holiday gatherings? I do. Creating a welcoming atmosphere for friends and family is fulfilling. How do you handle cultural appropriation during festive seasons? I make an effort to educate myself and others to ensure celebrations are respectful. What's your favorite holiday tradition with extended family? A family reunion during Thanksgiving is always heartwarming. How do you approach celebrating when you're far away from family? Video calls help bridge the distance, and I create a festive atmosphere even if I'm alone. Do you have a favorite holiday-themed TV show? A Charlie Brown Christmas is a classic. How do you involve your kids in learning about different cultures during the holidays? We explore books, documentaries, and even cook traditional dishes from various cultures together. What's your opinion on re-gifting? If it's done thoughtfully and with the recipient in mind, I think it's perfectly fine. How do you balance the excitement of gifts with the true meaning of a festival? By emphasizing the importance of togetherness, gratitude, and the joy of giving. Do you have a preferred way to give back to the community during the holidays? Volunteering at local shelters or organizing charity events is a fulfilling way to give back. What's your favorite holiday? tradition with your significant other? We exchange handwritten letters on New Year's Eve, reflecting on the past year and our hopes for the future. 
How do you approach celebrating when dealing with grief? I honor the memories, focus on gratitude, and find comfort in being with loved ones. What's your go-to holiday dessert? Pecan pie is a favorite in our family. Do you think it's essential to celebrate every festival or is it okay to choose selectively? I think it's a personal choice. Celebrate what resonates with you and it will be more meaningful. Hi Emma, do you have any favorite holiday traditions from around the world? Absolutely. I love the Japanese tradition of Oshogatsu, where they visit shrines for a fresh start in the new year. How about you? That sounds fascinating. I'm intrigued by the German tradition of Christkindlmarkt, Christmas markets with festive stalls. Do you have a favorite winter sport you associate with the holidays? I enjoy ice skating during the winter holidays. The outdoor rinks have such a festive atmosphere. What about you, Smith? I love a good game of snow football with friends and family. Have you ever participated in a cultural exchange during a festival? Yes, during Diwali, I exchanged sweets and stories with neighbors from different cultural backgrounds. It was enriching. Have you ever tried cooking a traditional dish from another country for a holiday? I attempted to make paella for a Spanish-themed Christmas dinner once. It was challenging but fun. How do you handle cultural misunderstandings during multicultural celebrations? I think open communication is key. We learn from each other and appreciate our differences. Do you have a favorite festive dessert that you only indulge in during celebrations? I have a weakness for Yule log cakes during Christmas. The chocolate and cream combination is irresistible. How do you feel about incorporating technology like virtual reality into festive celebrations? It can be a great way to connect with distant loved ones, but I still value the personal touch of in-person gatherings. Do you have a favorite holiday themed game to play with friends? I enjoy a good game of Christmas trivia. It's both fun and educational. How do you feel about holiday themed fashion like ugly Christmas sweaters? I think they add a light-hearted touch to celebrations. Do you have a favorite holiday themed cocktail recipe? A cranberry mule is my go-to festive drink. Do you think there's a universal meaning of celebration or does it vary from person to person? I think the core meaning is about joy, gratitude, and togetherness, but the way people express it can vary widely. How do you introduce children to the cultural significance of various festivals? We often read books, watch documentaries, and involve them in age-appropriate activities to make it interactive and educational. Do you have a favorite holiday themed board game? I enjoy playing code names, duet during holiday gatherings. It's a great team building game. How do you feel about celebrating festivals with a mix of religious and secular traditions? I think it adds depth to the celebration as it acknowledges diverse perspectives. What's your opinion on incorporating modern elements into traditional celebrations? I believe it can enhance the experience as long as it respects and preserves the essence of the tradition. How do you handle conflicting schedules with friends and family during the holiday season? We try to plan well in advance and find a middle ground that accommodates everyone's commitments. Do you have a favorite holiday themed podcast? The Moth has some wonderful holiday themed storytelling episodes. How do you feel about celebrating festivals that are not part of your cultural or religious background? I think it's a beautiful way to learn about and appreciate the diversity of human traditions. Do you have a preferred way to teach kids the importance of gratitude during festivals? We encourage them to write thank you notes for their gifts and reflect on the positive aspects of the year. How do you incorporate sustainable practices into your holiday celebrations? We opt for eco-friendly decorations, minimize single-use items, and focus on experiences rather than material gifts. Do you have a favorite holiday-themed dance? The Nutcracker Ballet is a classic favorite. How do you handle the pressure of finding the perfect gift for someone? 
I try to listen for subtle hints throughout the year and plan ahead to avoid last minute stress. Do you have a favorite holiday themed art or craft activity? Creating handmade ornaments with the family is always a delightful activity. How do you approach celebrating festivals when you're in a new city or country? I explore local customs, attend community events, and try to connect with new friends to make it a memorable experience. Do you have a preferred holiday themed workout routine? I enjoy winter hikes or festive yoga sessions to stay active during the holidays. How do you involve your kids in learning about different holiday traditions? We create a holiday passport where they travel to different countries, learning about customs and trying related activities. How do you feel about festivals that involve fasting or specific dietary restrictions? I think it adds a unique aspect to the celebration, highlighting self-discipline and spiritual reflection. How do you handle cultural appropriation in holiday decorations? I try to choose decorations that respect the cultural origins and avoid items that may be seen as insensitive or appropriative. What's your take on DIY decorations versus store-bought ones? I appreciate the personal touch of DIY decorations, but sometimes store-bought ones add convenience and variety. How do you manage cultural clashes within a multicultural family during celebrations? Open dialogue is crucial. We learn from each other's perspectives and find common ground to celebrate together. Do you have a preferred type of holiday lighting? I love the warm glow of string lights. They create a cozy and festive ambience. How do you handle the challenge of balancing multiple family traditions during the holidays? We try to rotate and find a compromise that allows us to honor each family's traditions over the years. Do you have a favorite festive fragrance for your home? I enjoy the scent of cinnamon and pine. It feels like the holidays have truly arrived. How do you handle the expectations and pressures associated with celebrating major festivals? I focus on the joy of the celebration and try not to let external pressures overshadow the meaning of the festival. What's your favorite memory of celebrating a festival with friends rather than family? Spending New Year's Eve with friends on a rooftop, watching fireworks and sharing laughter, is a cherished memory. How do you choose which holiday movies to watch each year? We create a family list, and each member gets to pick their favorite. It ensures a mix of classics and new favorites. Do you have a preferred way to capture and preserve holiday memories? We take a lot of photos and create scrapbooks to revisit those joyful moments in the future. How do you handle cultural appropriation in holiday costumes? I try to educate myself and my family to ensure our costumes are respectful and avoid appropriating cultural symbols. What's your opinion on combining different cultural traditions during holiday celebrations? I think it can be a beautiful way to create a unique celebration that reflects the diversity of those involved. How do you handle the challenge of celebrating festivals when you're away from home? Video calls, care packages, and bringing a piece of home with you, like a traditional dish, help bridge the gap. Do you have a preferred way to bring nature into your holiday celebrations? Decorating with evergreen branches and incorporating natural elements like pine cones and berries adds a festive touch. How do you involve your kids in charitable activities during the holiday season? We engage them in choosing toys or clothes to donate helping them understand the joy of giving back. Do you have a preferred type of holiday music? I enjoy a mix of classic carols and modern holiday tunes. It sets a cheerful mood. How do you navigate the challenge of coordinating family schedules for holiday gatherings? We use shared calendars and plan well in advance to ensure everyone can participate in the festivities. Do you have a favorite holiday themed tradition that has been passed down through generations? Lighting the Hanukkah menorah with my family is a tradition that holds a deep cultural and familial significance. How do you incorporate elements of nature into your holiday decorations? We use pine cones, holy, and even create DIY wreaths with branches collected from nature walks. 
Do you have a preferred way to celebrate a milestone birthday during the holiday season? Planning a themed party that combines the birthday celebration with holiday festivities creates a memorable and joyful atmosphere. Hi Emma, do you have a favorite winter festival activity that you look forward to every year? I love building snowmen with my family. It's a simple yet joyful activity. How about you, Smith? Skiing with friends in the snowy mountains is something I always anticipate. Have you ever participated in a cultural parade during a festival? Yes, during Carnival in Rio de Janeiro. The vibrant costumes and energetic atmosphere were unforgettable. Have you ever celebrated a festival in a warm tropical location? I once experienced Songkran in Thailand. The water festival was a unique and refreshing celebration. How do you incorporate storytelling into your holiday traditions? We gather around the fireplace and share stories about our family history and past festive celebrations. Do you have a preferred type of holiday candle scent? I love the scent of cinnamon and vanilla. It adds warmth to the holiday atmosphere. How do you feel about creating handmade decorations versus buying them? I appreciate the personal touch of handmade decorations, but sometimes store-bought ones add variety and convenience. Do you have a favorite holiday-themed game to play with your extended family? Charades is always a hit. It gets everyone involved and adds a lot of laughter to the celebration. How do you balance the cultural and commercial aspects of a festival? We focus on the cultural significance first, and then add commercial elements as a complement to the celebration. What's your take on attending holiday-themed performances, like a Nutcracker Ballet? I think it's a wonderful way to immerse oneself in the festive spirit and appreciate the arts. Have you ever celebrated a festival in a historical setting? I attended a Renaissance fair during Christmas once. It was a unique blend of history and holiday cheer. How do you approach gift giving when you're on a budget? I focus on thoughtful and personalized gifts, often DIY, to show that it's the sentiment that matters. Do you have a preferred way to involve your neighbors in holiday celebrations? We organize a neighborhood potluck, where everyone contributes a dish from their cultural background. How do you incorporate sustainable practices into holiday gift wrapping? We use reusable gift wrap, like fabric or cloth, and encourage recipients to reuse it or pass it forward. What's your favorite winter activity that isn't necessarily tied to a specific festival? I love stargazing on clear winter nights. The crisp air makes it magical. How do you manage holiday-themed attire for formal events? I opt for subtle festive accessories, like a holiday-themed tie or scarf, to add a touch of cheer without being too flashy. How do you handle the expectations of creating a festive atmosphere at home? We start decorating gradually, creating anticipation for the celebration. It helps spread the festive joy over time. What's your preferred way to handle the aftermath of holiday celebrations? We have a post-celebration cleanup plan to make it more manageable and less overwhelming. How do you balance the desire for a quiet celebration with the expectations of a large gathering? We usually host a quiet celebration with immediate family, and then plan a larger gathering on a different day. How do you feel about participating in festive parades in your local community? I think it's a great way to feel connected to the community and share in the collective joy. Have you ever celebrated a festival in a small, close-knit community? Yes. I celebrated Hanukkah in a tight-knit community, and the sense of togetherness was truly heartwarming. How do you navigate the challenge of finding unique gifts for each family member? We often make wish lists to give each other ideas and ensure the gifts are meaningful. How do you handle the pressure of keeping up with holiday trends and expectations? We focus on timeless traditions and personal connections rather than trying to keep up with fleeting trends. How do you involve your children in planning and organizing holiday decorations? We let them choose a theme for certain areas of the house and involve them in DIY crafts to bring the theme to life. How do you approach celebrating a festival in a multicultural workplace? 
We organize a multicultural potluck, where everyone brings a dish from their cultural background. It fosters understanding and appreciation. How do you handle the challenge of celebrating festivals during busy work seasons? We plan ahead, prioritize family time, and try to create moments of celebration even amidst a hectic schedule. What's your favorite holiday tradition that involves giving back to the community? We volunteer at a local shelter during Thanksgiving, serving meals to those in need. It's a humbling experience. How do you feel about creating a festive atmosphere in your workplace? I think it boosts morale and brings a sense of camaraderie. Decorating the office space can be a fun team-building activity. How do you choose a theme for your holiday decorations each year? We often pick a theme based on a shared interest or a memorable event from the past year. It adds a personal touch. What's your preferred way to spend the day after a major festival? I like to have a relaxed day, perhaps enjoying a nature walk or watching holiday movies with loved ones. How do you handle the challenge of celebrating festivals in a different time zone? We schedule virtual celebrations at a time that works for everyone, considering the time zone differences. How do you handle cultural sensitivity and gift giving, especially when exchanging gifts with people from diverse backgrounds? We try to learn about each other's cultural preferences and avoid gifts that may be culturally inappropriate. How do you involve your children in choosing and wrapping gifts for others? We take them shopping for gifts, encourage them to think about the recipient's likes, and involve them in the wrapping process. How do you manage holiday greetings in a diverse group of friends and acquaintances? We use neutral greetings like, Happy Holidays, to be inclusive and respectful of various celebrations. How do you handle the challenge of celebrating festivals when facing personal challenges or grief? We focus on creating a supportive and understanding environment, allowing for moments of reflection and healing. How do you approach celebrating festivals when dealing with dietary restrictions or allergies? We plan the menu carefully, ensuring there are options for everyone, and communicate openly about dietary needs. How do you involve your children in learning about the historical and cultural roots of different festivals? We read books, watch documentaries, and sometimes visit cultural exhibits to make the learning experience interactive. How do you handle the challenge of celebrating festivals during a period of change, like moving to a new city? We embrace the opportunity to explore new traditions in the new location while holding on to familiar ones to create a sense of continuity. How do you incorporate a sense of adventure into your holiday celebrations? We sometimes plan surprise activities or spontaneous outings to add an element of excitement to the festivities. How do you feel about creating your own family traditions that may differ from those of your cultural or religious background? I think it's a beautiful way to create a unique identity for our family while respecting our cultural roots. How do you handle the challenge of celebrating festivals when you are away from home for an extended period? We bring a piece of home with us, whether it's a traditional dish or a cherished decoration, to maintain a connection to our roots. How do you involve your children in learning about global festivals and fostering a sense of global awareness? We explore world maps, read about different festivals, and sometimes even plan imaginary trips to experience celebrations from various cultures. How do you approach celebrating festivals when you have different religious beliefs within your family? We strive to find common values and universal aspects of celebrations that everyone can enjoy, fostering inclusivity and mutual respect. How do you handle the challenge of celebrating festivals in a small living space? We focus on creating a cozy and intimate atmosphere, emphasizing quality time and shared experiences over elaborate decorations. How do you involve your children in creating their own holiday traditions and rituals? We encourage them to come up with their own ideas for a special tradition that they can take ownership of and look forward to each year. How do you approach celebrating festivals when you're far away from extended family members? We make an effort to connect virtually, sharing moments, stories, and even participating in certain rituals together through video calls. 
How do you handle the challenge of celebrating festivals when you are in a multicultural relationship? We embrace the opportunity to blend traditions, learning from each other's cultural backgrounds, and creating a unique celebration that reflects our shared values. How do you involve your children in creating a sense of anticipation and excitement leading up to a festival? We have a countdown calendar or special activities each day, building up the excitement and making the days leading to the festival memorable. How do you handle the challenge of celebrating festivals when you have different age groups in your family? We plan activities that cater to different age groups, ensuring there's something enjoyable for everyone, whether it's festive crafts for kids or nostalgic games for adults.